วัสดีค่ะ I'm พัชรีรักษาวงเงิน once again we're meeting here at s u w a n a p u m Airport let's suppose I'm a tourist arriving from abroad what's the process like for entering the country you ask well today I'm going to walk you through it all the steps based on the new normal All foreigners traveling to Thailand must contact the Thai embassies or consulates in their country to hand in their visa application and all required documents. It is there at the diplomatic missions that you will get an overview. Upon landing at the airport in Thailand, this is the process that you'll have to go through. All travelers must have their travel and immigration documents inspected. All visitors will go through screening procedures, including getting your body temperature checked, and you'll be asked for medical information and recent travel history. If you have a body temperature of over 37.5 degrees Celsius, with coughing, sneezing, shortness of breath, and/or difficulty breathing, you'll have to get a swab test to identify the virus. This nasal and throat swab is very accurate with quick results. If the test is negative, then you go straight to immigration. But if you do test positive, you'll be referred to a hospital for treatment. Authorities will be checking various documents, including the certificate of entry, health insurance, health certification, declaring that you're COVID-19 free 72 hours prior to departing the country of origin, along with the fit to fly health certification. And next, authorities will be checking that your name is on the list of alternative state quarantine, which should have been confirmed prior to arriving in Thailand. Respond to the questions. Have your passport checked as usual. Remove your face mask so staff can verify your identity, and then you're off to get your baggage. Let's go and have a look at what it's like at an alternative state quarantine or ASQ. Follow me. There are many ASQs to choose from in Bangkok and nearby provinces. Facilities located outside Bangkok are called alternative local state quarantine. All properties and hotels must pass strict health criteria certified by the Ministry of Public Health. There must be a holding area cordoned off specifically for new arrivals at the hotel. The hotel must also have a partnership with a registered hospital. Visitors are quarantined for 14 days. These regulations are to ensure everyone's safety. Facilities and activities offered at an ASQ vary depending on the hotel you have selected. At this hotel, you get a yoga mat and an exercise manual inside your room. You can also request to rent a stationary bike during your quarantine period. If you want to purchase goods, you can do so via the website asq.locanation.com. There are fun DIY activities and also online exercise sessions. You'll also get to browse through some great deals being offered when it comes to hotels, attractions, and airlines. Perhaps book a flight or plan your trip for when your quarantine period ends. All meals are hygienically prepared every step of the way, from kitchen to your room, and served three times a day. So you can be sure that throughout the 14 days, you will be satisfied. You're also allocated time for a walk. Guests must make a reservation in advance to ensure the common area is not overcrowded.
the medical team will be coming in to get a swab test two more times on the 5th and on the 12th day of your quarantine period. And after you've completed your quarantine, you're free to travel anywhere in Thailand. There will be a tracking system which you will need to keep with you throughout the duration of your visit in the country. There are many options for you to pick from when it comes to alternative state quarantine. Should you want to see the list, you can contact the Thai Embassy or Consulate to find out the details or visit the website asq.locanation.com for all the information on ASQs and prepping for your trip here to Thailand.